going to uh, measure the vapor pressure of a pure liquid by using the isotanscope method mentioned in your handout. So I'm going to show you here how to set up the uh, experiment using the isotanscope. We have a large uh, bath of water that we're going to control the temperature with this uh, quartz tube. And do not handle the quartz with your bare hands. Use gloves to handle the quartz. It's very fragile and the um, oils from your hands will actually deteriorate the crystal. So we have the quartz crystal. We're going to mount to this uh, stir, this uh, ring stand back here. So we need, we need a couple of clamps back here. And um, also a clamp for the, the quartz here and a clamp for the thermometer. And then we need to leave room to clamp the isotelescope into the water bath as well. Uh, so here's the quartz heater. And uh, we want to mount that so the stir bar doesn't hit it. Uh, Clamp it by the quartz again. We'll clamp it by the top here. Okay. Now, do not plug this directly into the outlet. Plug it into a variac. Which I have over here variable uh, voltage from the. So we'll turn that down. So we'll plug that in. So we're going to start at a low setting, maybe 20, 20 volts. Uh, see how that goes as far as temperature. Um, actually, let's leave that off now. First, we'll equilibrate to room temperature for the start of our experiment. And we're going to clamp the thermometer again so that it doesn't get it is out of the way of this glass stir bar so it doesn't get damaged. Okay. But the bulb is fully immersed into the water. Now the isotelescope here uh, is a special apparatus. Uh, we cannot buy a new one, so we want to be very careful to not break this one. We're going to clamp that uh, in here. So let's move our ring stand and attach our clamp. We'll clamp it at the top where there's a nice firm surface for the clamp to attach to. And we want to, again, position this so it's fully immersed in the liquid, but out of the way of the stern bar. Um, Isotelescope bulb, we want to fill up two-thirds of the way, so I'm going to keep adding uh, liquid, heptane, again in small portions, 10 mil portions, so that we don't overflow the, the bowl at the bottom there. tilting it until it's about two-thirds full. And actually we do not want to leave any liquid in the bottom of the tube. We'll, we'll get liquid in the tube after we evacuate it. So it's about two-thirds full, that bolt there. Okay. And some might over slightly, and we tip it a little bit. Pick up the vacuum. This is our ballast. It's a glass uh, chamber that, that under vacuum could implode, so we have uh, the whole thing's taped up to help stabilize it. 
we have a rubber stopper with a hole in it. We don't want any pressure on any of these tubes, so we're going to kind of move things around so there's not a lot of force on these tubes. And then um, we have This bottom tube is going to go to the vacuum. This top tube is going to go to another hose that we have um, teed to the, to the manometer. I added a clamp here to help stabilize the, the tubing. We have an oilless pump here, uh, so we don't have to worry about vapors uh, from our heptane damaging the pump. Okay, so let's start our apparatus, start evacuating it. Gently, so I actually have this valve open here so that it won't get too evacuated too fast. Okay, you want to slowly reduce the pressure until it just starts to boil. You can see that there are um, glass beads in the bottom of the isotensicope, so that creates a uh, boiling points, nucleation points, for the liquid to start to boil. And there's a little bit of bubbles forming now. So we're just starting to uh, evaporate the liquid. So we'll stay, stay at this pressure for about four minutes. Now that we've evacuated the isotensicope for at least four minutes, uh, when it's just starting to uh, boil, we're going to tilt it so that we admit some of the liquid into the U-tube. And right now I have um, more liquid on one side than the other. And at equilibrium, the two arms of the U-tube will be equal. Here you can see that the two arms are not level. The pressure is actually higher. Uh, on the outside of the isotensicope. So we need to reduce the pressure in the ballast chamber by turning our tube, uh, our needle valve here so that it gets uh, higher pressure, the tighter valve. So I turned it slightly and you can see the U-tube, the two arms are starting to level out now. And now it's a little bit too much on the other side. So this is the art of this experiment, is tweaking the valve until the two sides are at level. So now they're about even, so we'll record the temperature. At this point, it's room temperature, 22.5 or so, 20, 23.5. And then we record the pressure. 